Tell me about the iconic photograph of Martin Kitch, <laughs> Paul Thompson, George Luscombe, and Bill Glasgow. My favorite photo. One of my favorite photos. It was a star photo. It was a, in the Toronto Star, and the four of them standing there. I love it because none of them is looking at each other, and uh, they're all looking out at their own separate worlds, and it said everything about that early time. Because uh, four men, and of course there were lots of men, more men than you could shake a stick at, uh, and all running really marvelous theaters, and all with diff slightly different uh, points of view. I mean, George was political, Paul was populist, Bill was whatever he was. <laughs> Bill was Canadian, the Canadian playwright. In that iconic photograph, they're all wearing leather jackets, are they not? Oh, are they? I think they're almost all wearing leather jackets. Oh, that could be. That was obviously the, the style of the time. They all thought, I think they were all slightly older, trying to pretend they were slightly younger, maybe. Not George, not George. George was, George was older than most of them, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. because George started in the yeah. 50s, right? Yeah. In, his, in his basement on whatever yes. street it was. Yes. How did they, the, the Toronto Free Theatre, Martin Kinch, Theatre Press Mariah, Paul Thompson, Ken Gass, Factory, and Bill Tarragon, how much because they were so unlike each other, how much time did they have for each other's vision? Ah, I was going to say, how much time did they have for each other? That as well. Because I, I think there's the difference, is they were all very, very separate. I, I don't think, and I don't remember, uh, I mean, I never really knew Martin Kinch. I didn't know George Luscombe until uh, Pact happened and we were on the same plane together. Um, I never knew Paul. And I don't think we, we all, we, we stayed in our little corners much more than people do now. Why? I don't know why. I think it was just the, I think it was, there was no reason to not to. Um, the, the, the sort of collegial, collaborative uh, way of working now just wasn't there then. I think everyone was scrambling to, to do their own work. Ken Gass, he'd have to, he should have been in that picture as well. Was there a rivalry between those four different visions? I suppose there was, although as an audience member, you went to all of them uh, and appreciated all of them. But we just didn't, con we didn't connect with each other. And I thought about that a lot, and I'm not actually sure why, why that was. It just, it, it, when nobody questioned it. I sometimes wondered if it wasn't, uh, this is overstating it, fighting for the voice of what Canadian theater was going to be. I was don't know. Was it going to be edgy and populist? Mm -hmm. Was it going to be edgy like free theater and kind of, kind of weirdo? Was it going to be political like George? Or was it going to be, as you say, to Bill, quite, quite Canadian mm -hmm. in its, uh, mm -hmm. in its, a pretty in interesting inside vision, but a very modest exterior, so to speak. Well, I think that every if you if you if you canvassed the actors at that time, they would each have had a, a, a predilection for one or other of those those theaters. I mean, they they might work at more than one but probably they concentrated on just one. So, I mean, you knew who the actors were at, 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 at uh, George's Theatre, <laughs> Toronto Workshop. Uh, and certainly, Passmore had its own school of actors. And, and I think, I, I remember seeing the same people over and over at, at Toronto Free Theatre. So, I mean, as an actor yourself, when, when did you come on the scene? Because I was first the free theater actor, yeah, and I that's didn't. Right. I didn't. Yeah. Later, I did a couple of shows at TWP, and mm -hmm. I knew I was in a different world. Yeah. I enjoyed the yeah. politics of it, but there was something. Yeah. A bill I always knew personally, but didn't join until yeah. later. 
Um, the woods? <laughs> and I did the woods and was booed on stage, and that was very interesting. But there was something calm and intelligent. Again, going back to Bill, there was something about calm, mm. intelligent, yep. and utter integrity mm -hmm. at the center of what Bill Glasgow yep. was yep. that resonated beyond any season that he programmed mm -hmm. and beyond mm -hmm. the building. Exactly. There was something that rang there that really hit something. For me. I agree. Yep. No, it, it was it was really interesting uh, when you when you look back and you think about the various theaters. There were lots, uh, sort of smaller theaters around the edges, but um, it, it, we we just didn't we didn't connect. And so now, I mean, it took me a long time to get to know those people. Whereas now, I mean, there's there's so much more interaction. Let's talk about Pact. Yes. Why did you push for Association of Canadian Theatres? I didn't. I didn't. wasn't the one. But but certainly uh, it was in. It was the whole equity. Equity thing because equity was in Canada was basically an offshoot of the U.S. Uh, organization. And uh, once they decided they wanted to to be a more Canadian version of uh, equity. It made sense that there be somebody who could talk to them here, and it was people like Anda Selms and uh, who who got this all together. Uh, I think Andis and and probably um, uh, oh gosh, I'm now going to forget his name. Who ran the the uh, Theater Plus, Marion Andre? No, but but uh, who the the artistic director of um, Canadian stage, whatever it was called then. Leon Major. Leon, people like that. All of those that they'd been around for a while. They had, they had, they knew what they were. They were running big organizations, and they started it. And um, I remember going to the very first conference, which was out in Victoria, and Robin Phillips being there, and thinking, "Wow, I've never met Robin Phillips." And coming back with Leon and George Luscombe, and Leon handing me one bit of a at a time all of his luggage to carry, <laughs> without my knowing it, <laughs> he'd say, "Could you hold that a moment?" And I'd say, "Yes." And we were walking along, and Could you? <laughs> before I knew it, I was walking along carrying his luggage, and it was a big joke, of course, and was ho ho ho. But I got to know those people through Pact, and I think it was a it was a, it was something that happens all the time now, and I think it's why we all have a much more collegial uh, relationship across the country, because we meet uh, we meet people all the time. We know now we can look up online and see what they're doing, and you know there there are all kinds of ways of keeping in touch, which didn't occur then. So the need for Pact was just to create a Canadian contract CTA initially it was yes it was a bargaining a bargaining uh, organization and of course the more when Curtis became the executive director and this is another thing I regret down on this wonderful little building in uh, on Charles Street he had a, a lovely fireplace and it was it was very very it was like Paragon for me it was very comfortable and of course, uh, now they're in, you know, offices and what have you. But it slowly then became a, a, a way of bringing people together. And was Pact was was Equity doing something that needed a, a, res, a collective response from Canadians? Well, theaters? they were starting to, to to negotiate. I mean, it was it was really it, they were taking on their own responsibility. I mean, they weren't they weren't constantly referring back to something in the States. So as a result, we wanted to be there too, and we wanted to have some kind of agreement between the two of us, the, the producers and the, the, the Equity Association. And, it's, and it was at that point that the directors, I guess, decided they, wanted, they didn't want to go into the equity uh, how did that work? The artistic directors, was that how it worked? They wanted to 
be f free of <laughs> probably both of us, but you know, the, the, a lot of things started there, and Curtis could tell you this in a, a, a moment, but a lot of things started there that just became entrenched.